Hey everyone, it's Trish with Bird Feed. Welcome back to my channel for more ideas and inspiration for your OCC shoe boxes. Today's video is another unboxing of a shoe box I have packed for Operation Christmas Child. This one is for a two to four year old girl. And the theme is, you can probably tell from the wrapping, Hello Kitty. Inside the box, I decorated it with some clip art that I found online and then I hot glued one of her hair bows to the Hello Kitty right on top of the printed bow that was there. And um, there's another one of these in the box. Hopefully they'll figure out that they can just peel that off and use it. Then when she opens her box, besides that decoration, she will see this. Right on top, I'll pull out her plush, which is bursting out of the box. Um, this is a Hello Kitty Squishmallows, and I found this at Five Below. These are so soft, and it's super cute. This can even be used as a little pillow. And right next to her Hello Kitty plush, she'll find a little baby doll. I stuffed her in her Ikea cup. And the baby doll is a soft-bodied baby doll. This was a contribution from one of my viewers. It came in a box of three baby dolls with pets. And I'll show you those in just a minute. See if we can get her to sit up. There she goes. And the uh, little pet that goes with this particular baby doll is a kitty cat and its head turns. For her baby doll, I included two extra outfits. Uh, the, her clothes that she's got on do come off. And these outfits were donated by Joan Cowan. It was, oh, I don't know, like seven, six or seven outfits in a uh, package. And these are two of them. And then I slipped them into the uh, four by six organza bags that Annabeth sent. So she's got two little outfits for her baby doll. I gave her some wrist bells. I got these on clearance after Christmas at the Dollar Tree. I think those were 50 cents. She's got a bouncy ball and this was a contribution from Angie. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in her cup. Let's take these out. Um, this is what started actually the, actually no, this is not what started the, um, this was the second item that I found that was Hello Kitty. It's a coloring book from the Dollar Tree and I think they have one now. I don't know if it's this ex exact same cover, but I picked this one up last year. And then inside I put some assorted stickers for her, ballerinas and flowers, butterflies and some these were from Christmas from Michael's. So she's got plenty of stickers and lots of Hello Kitty pages to color. And of course, I've given her a spiral notebook for when she starts school. I recently found this Barbie Dream Camper at the Dollar Tree. So as much as I hate to pay $1.25 for Hot Wheels, still Dollar Tree is my favorite place to find the different ones. And this is what started the whole shoebox. Last year, was it? Last year or the year before? But maybe it was last year. I bought from Amazon a, an assortment of um, little shopping bags that, uh, you know, stuff into themselves. And this one happened to be a Hello Kitty looking one. And I saved it because I thought I have got to do a Hello Kitty shoebox. And then I found the coloring book. Then it was tough to find things after that. <laughs> but I did finally find some things to put together this shoebox. Like Hello Kitty toothbrushes also from the Dollar Tree. 
Um, I don't normally send three, but you know, I have, I've sent two before, but I decided since these were all Hello Kitty and it was in a, an enclosed package, I would send her the whole package so she can either share them or have them to last her um, for the year. Now, this was my splurge. Well, actually, besides the plush, which was $5.55, actually, that, the plush was probably more than the dress, but I don't usually spend um, $5 on clothing. But I have to tell you a, a little story here. I actually bought it from Walmart when it was $9 because I was afraid the four or five would be gone. And then I was at a, a Walmart not close to my home, not in a, a direction that I go, not a, it's not, it wasn't a, 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 a Walmart that I shop frequently. And I found them for $5. So I bought one for five and I returned the one that was nine. <laughs> so yeah, I do, I do stuff like that for that much money. Um, for four dollars, yeah, that pack practically paid for her plush. So um, I couldn't help myself. I had to have this Hello Kitty dress for her, and it's very nice. This isn't a costume. I mean, this is a real dress. Like the the top is a like a heavy duty poly, and the it's got um, like a taffeta, a soft taffeta, not stiff, underneath, and then um, some layers. Of organza on it so I was real excited about that dress and then I found shoes at Dollar General last year I bought these um, when they were on clearance really cheap but I honestly I, I didn't make note of what I paid for them and I don't remember um, they were probably less than a dollar when I bought those shoes to go with her dress. And she has a couple of pairs of socks, some white and pink, and then a pair with a purple kitty on it. Not Hello Kitty, but maybe Hello Kitty's friend. And I also found this um, eyeglasses case at the Dollar Tree back when they were a dollar. It's not Hello Kitty, but it kind of looks like Hello Kitty. And inside, I put some Hello Kitty sunglasses. So that's what these look like on the sides. So she's got some sunglasses, really cute sunglasses in a cute case. To wear with her dress or with anything. I did eventually find some Hello Kitty um, underwear, little girl's underwear at Walmart on clearance. So I put two pairs in another one of these four by six organza bags that uh, Annabeth sent. I tell you what, these bags are so, ins I'm, I'm using I, them so much. I use almost three or four in a in a shoe box. So I think I'm gonna buy some more, maybe in a, even a smaller size when I don't put so much in it, like jewelry, um, I can use a smaller size. So I think I'm gonna buy that um, because I'm going through them so quickly. Even though there's 200, I'll have them for a while, but you know, certain colors go quickly. Then in another four by six organza bag, I put in a hair comb. I put in a purple one instead of pink, just to be different. Here's the other hair bow that I've attached to a pink headband. It's a little bit different pink, but I don't think it really matters. And that way, if she doesn't have a lot of hair on her head, if she wears it close cropped, she can hopefully still wear that bow in her hair. And from Angie, who sent uh, several packages of these goody hair elastics. These are from Amazon. I, oh, how am two, four, six, eight? I put in eight assorted colors. 
And Annabeth also sent, along with the organza bag, some hair accessories. She sent these really cute butterfly hair clips. They're like, you know, a little claw clip. And it, they came in uh, six colors. So I've been putting six, one of each color, in each of the bags that I've been um, putting together of hair accessories. I like to send a nice assortment of hair accessories so they can either use them or share them or, I mean, they can clip them on their clothes, all sorts of things. They're just fun and pretty. And these have uh, hair clips. Um, they're snap barrettes were sent by Annabeth and they have turned out to be one of my favorite things. These are by Funtopia on Amazon and there's there's a uh, purple cat and this one is a star and then I sent her, gave her a crown and then a couple of plain yellow ones and some green ones with pink hearts on them. So she's got quite a few different kinds of hair accessories. Then in yet another organza bag, but this is a smaller one, a smaller bag, and I think this is the size I wanna get for jewelry. Um, I put in here something from my wish list that I bought. <laughs> I purchased these from Pink Sheep. It was a, it was a set of six uh, necklaces and bracelets off of Amazon. And I just, I just love these. I thought they were so cute and I particularly liked the ones from Pink Sheep. And these had bows on them, which is why I decided to choose this one because it reminds me of Hello Kitty's bow that she wears in her hair. So I really like this necklace and bracelet set for her. But I also included another necklace. Um, when I put these, this was a set of six assorted uh, necklaces. Joan Cowan bought these uh, for our shoe boxes. And when I put it on my wish list, I didn't intend it really for, um, the two to four age group. Okay, how do you get into this little bag? Um, I thought, you know, I was thinking five, at least five to nine, if not 10 to 14. Okay, <laughs> I had to do this off camera. I couldn't get it open. And But this one looks like Hello Kitty. So I had to include this one in this shoe box. So she's got two different kinds of necklaces the beads, and one that looks like Hello Kitty. I also included a spoon from Ikea that goes with the cup. I'm not gonna take it out of there. Here, I I stuffed it in a self-seal bag that um, I had to put it in cockeye and wrap it around just to keep it um, sanitary. And then she's got a couple more Hello Kitty things in here, but let's go into her school supplies, um, which have the standard, a, an enclosed pencil sharpener, glue stick, a, a pink eraser, a pair of scissors. The scissors were uh, contributed by Tamara, and I think this uh, pencil pouch also came out of Tamara's stash. Um, she sent a couple of things, and those two were some. Several people sent these. Um, I just go back and forth as to which bag I pull them out of. Um, then I included some Hello Kitty pencils that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I gave her, I normally give, is there six here? Oh no, there are only five. I actually damaged one of them. It, it came as six pencils in the package, um, but I tried to put on the um, pencil grip on the pattern pencils, 
And you would think that this is painted on, but it's not. It's like a cello wrap. And I guess these pencils are fatter than the number twos because I couldn't push it on and then I couldn't pull it off. And when I did, it peeled off the Hello Kitty wrap on it, which I thought was crazy. I didn't know that they did them that way. So I added a number two pencils. Typically in the two to fours, I put about six pencils. I think in the other ones, I put eight. Um, and then I gave her a multicolored pencil. And I have a bunch of these rulers from summer clearance from Target. Um, I think it was 10 cents for a package of them. But uh, when I bought them, I wasn't paying attention and they do only have inches on them. So I've been putting them in the toddler boxes just so they can uh, use it to draw a straight line. It doesn't have centimeters on it, so they're, and they're not in school yet, so they're not gonna be able to use it for school, but you know, they can play with it and, and draw straight lines. Also in her pencil pouch, I tucked some My Little Pony bandages, which were also a contribution from a viewer. So that's what's in her pencil pouch for when she should start school. She's got an eight pack of jumbo crayons contributed by Nicole for her coloring book. I like the jumbo ones for the toddlers in particular. And some Hello Kitty skateboard stickers, which were contributed by Joan Cowan. And these are, they're just waterproof stickers, so she could use them on anything. If she has a, a window, she can stick them on a a window or a, a glass, or she can put them on her cup. You know what, I might even stick one on her cup. Yeah, I think I might do that. I think I'm gonna stick one on her cup so she knows that she can decorate things other than paper with these Hello Kitty stickers. And I just put a few in here, I don't know. I think I put a dozen in there. Also from the Dollar Tree, I found a Hello Kitty board book. I was so surprised when I found this. And it's just as cute and colorful as it could be with a little story. Actually, it's not much of a story. Not too many words, but just what Hello Kitty's doing every day. I thought it was adorable. And that's the Hello Kitty shoebox for a two to four year old girl. I, I hope you enjoyed it. I think it turned out adorable. I just pray it goes to the right little girl. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye now.